Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I will be reviewing the Mattel WWE Elite Series 31 Jay Uso figure. This is Jay's very first Elite figure, and it was very highly sought after um, since it took them forever to make Elite versions of the Usos. And after opening Jimmy Uso, I'd say it. Uh, it's a really nice figure because I'm pretty sure they have close to the same body mold exactly, just different tattoo work and whatnot, and a different head sculpt of course. Um, but Mattel did a great job on Jimmy and I'm sure they did a great job on this Jay Uso figure as well. Um, I highly recommend picking it up already and I know I haven't even shown you it out of the packaging yet. Uh, so that being said, let's take a look at the packaging up close. Is series 31 at the top there's a new WWE logo there's a picture of Jay Uso there it says Jay Uso there's a Uso shirt and Jay there it said includes shirt and necklace and there's a WWE Elite Collection logo and it says highly detailed action figure authentic ring attire on this side there's the Elite Collection logo and a picture of Jay Uso and on this side, there's the new WWE logo, the Elite Collection logo, and another picture of Jey Uso. Then on the back of the box, there's a large image of Jey there. There's the Elite logo, it says Jey Uso, and has a little bio about him. There's a picture of him there. It says, recreate the action of WWE. Also in the set is Jimmy Uso, Kane, Dean Ambrose, The Rock, and Vader. Pictured as a raw basic ring and company information listed at the bottom. So that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the Mattel WWE Elite Series 31 J Uso figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say it's a really awesome figure. Like I said before, Mattel did a really nice job with it, with the detail and everything. I'm really pleased with it, honestly. Um, I wish he came with a cloth shirt instead of a rubber shirt, uh, but that's really my only complaint, honestly, and that's really not the end of the world. The figure is great, and I do highly recommend picking him up. Uh, that being said, let's take a look at his shirt first. It's a thin rubber shirt that comes with uh, the Jimmy Uso figure as well. It has one of their latest t-shirt designs, of course not the most current one, as toys are always behind what's on TV. Um, but it has a picture of them on the front, and it says, We say oos, you say o. Oh. And it's a thin rubber shirt, as you can see, there's button straps there. And they just snap into place, and then to put it on him, you just pop them apart. And it's a thin rubber, and you just put his head through it. I'm not going to show you just because it's a pain in the butt to get his long hair through here. Um, so just be patient with it, but it does fit him pretty well for the most part. I'm just not a big fan of rubber shirts as I think they look kind of bulky in them sort of thing. But it's good for display purposes, I guess, as it hides some of the articulation. Let's take a look at Jey Uso up close now. Here he is smiling. You can see the detail in uh, his face. I believe this is the same head scan from uh, their latest battle pack. Just has updated face paint as you can see. Um, it's cool, you can see all his individual teeth, his facial hair. He has his sideburns and short shaved hair on the sides and then the detail in his long hair. Which is really cool. It's a ball jointed head that goes up and down as well as left and right. And he has his thin uh, necklace here which is rubber. As you can see, it's pretty detailed as well. Doesn't really move because of the hair which is fine. I'm um, looking at his uh, torso here, he has a tattoo on his chest there, he has a typical elite uh, chest joint, he has ball jointed arms that go up and down as well as outward, he has a swivel bicep joint, so you can see all the crazy tattoo work that uh, he has, and Mattel did a really nice job capturing that, just very, very detailed stuff and it looks great, and you can see more on this arm as well. really cool. I'm really pleased with the detail as I said. Um, he has a typical elbow joints and he has his tall black wrist tape painted on both arms and it goes all the way around as you can see and he has a swivel wrist joint as well as a hand joint that goes up and down 
looking at his lower torso he has a swivel waist joint and he's got his green shorts and it says uh, I think day four if I'm not mistaken it's hard to tell that's a one or a four maybe it is a one I'm not sure probably day one because I don't know what day four <laughs> would be um, but I don't pay much attention to them as you could probably tell um, but their figures are really cool, honestly. You can see all the awesome detail on his shorts. Mattel just seriously put a lot of effort into these figures, and I'm really pleased with them. On the back, he has his little, like, towel. It says Usos. It's a thin rubber. As you can see, just be careful you don't rip it out, because it is thin and might rip off easily. As you can see, mine's already kind of popping out there. Uh, but looking at his legs, he has ball jointed legs that go up and down as well as outward. He has a swivel thigh joints. He has double jointed knees with molded knee pads with details with wrinkles and that padding to make it look authentic. And his knees are not restricted because they uh, took out a back part of the shorts. Then looking at his boots, he's got his white socks and the swivel boot joint here. He has a typical ankle joint that goes up and down, but mine are really stiff, so I can't show you. Um, but just be careful with yours. And then he has a white uh, trim on his toes there. And yeah, that's Jey Uso. Highly recommend. You can get him on ringsidecollectibles.com, amazon.com, and at most major retailers. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do. I'll see you next week. Thanks. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern on wildtalkradio.com.